All right. Thank you for coming out today. My name is Tracy Shank. I am with, sure. I am with Premier World Discovery. Um, I will talk a little bit about the company and kind of, ex you know, more about us, but I first want to let you know that, um, a little bit about me. I am, um, I have been in the travel group industry for 33 years. This is my love. I think travel is just incredible. I've been through so many different things, including these past few years, right? And it all just comes back around. It's all cyclical. So it's been exciting to see travel booming again. I live in Livonia and I'm a Michigander. So I've you know, been here my whole life and uh, love Michigan. And um, this company had been after me for about close to 10 years, wanting me to be the rep in Michigan. They didn't have a rep here. And um, some of the companies or clubs we've worked with in the past before me, like pretty big names like Michigan State Alumni travels with us, uh, Michigan State Alumni, University of Michigan Alumni, Michigan Radio. So there are accounts that were already here. They just didn't have a rep in Michigan. So they brought me on a couple years ago and it was life changing. I was at the job for 20 years, had no interest in changing jobs. I'm like, I'm not changing jobs. And then when I talked to the owner, I was like, Oh my gosh, I said to my husband, I'm changing jobs. This is incredible, right? So um, it is just, it's been fantastic. And I'm all over. I'm all over in so many clubs. You might have seen me in different places around here, but um, it's, it's just been really great. So let me talk a little bit about Premier World Discovery and kind of explain about us. So the company has, was established in 1999, so we're almost just under 25 years. Um, we're headquartered in Redondo Beach, California. Uh, again, I'm here, so I'm local, but uh, that's where the headquarters are. And we do about 80 worldwide destinations. So we were talking about, say there's a destination you have in mind that you don't see here at Shelby Township, you can go on our website and say, oh my gosh, I want to do an African safari, or I want to go to Fiji, or I want to do something really exotic, or, or river cruise. You are welcome to go on our website. The only thing that you do is let them know that you're with Shelby Township. And that way, because um, we don't market you, we're never ever going to be sending you mailers at your house emailing you and trying to sell you things. We don't do that. It's it. Yeah, that's it. We, we just aren't designed that way. Everything we do is through clubs and groups like this. So what you want to do is just let them know you're with Shelby Township. And then even if it's one person, we can put you on any of our trips. So we have all these affiliations. We have an uh, A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, National Tour Association, American Bus. All these affiliations are very important in our industry. You want to make sure that um, when you're anytime you're traveling with a company that they have that backing. It's really, really important. The inside team and the outside team, we are one big happy family. Like we all are about customer service. So I'm always here to help and answer questions, but you can call our toll-free number after about 11.30 a.m. our time, because they're in California, um, and anybody there can help you. Say you get your invoice and you have questions, you can call the office and say, hey, I got this invoice, I have a question, and they can certainly help you. <clears throat> Another thing I'd like to remind people that you may not think is when you're traveling like this on a group tour, whether it's a bus trip, a day trip, you know, any little small trip, a big trip, it's an all-inclusive travel me or experience, meaning everything is packaged for you, there's, you, it's very little work for you. You just show up and do, you know, just you're, just go and enjoy. But the best part is it's all discounted. Think about it. The buses, the hotel, the air, the restaurants, the museums, everything you're doing on the trip is all discounted because you're in a group, right? So for that, when you get to that price, when it's all packaged for you, that is a really good value. If you were to go and plan these things on your own, you'd be spending a lot more plus it is nice to have someone else do the planning right we handle baggage we do like your on our tours we do baggage handling we have um, you know all kinds of meals and things included it's just a nice and it's a great way to meet new people travel protection is also available through us I will explain uh, that at the end of the meeting however if you have your own travel insurance that you love and you trust that's okay you don't need to purchase ours we just do offer it for you Every trip you go on with me, I will do what's called a final document briefing or a departure meeting. So you get your documents, which look like this, about two weeks prior to your trip. They're in a little zipper pouch. And then about two weeks prior, 10 days prior, we will meet. We'll sit down or do it virtually, Zoom if that's easier for you, and go through all your documents. I want to make sure you are prepared and you know exactly what to expect before you go on a trip with us. Round trip transportation. If you book a trip that is offered through the center, one of these, airport transportation is included, round trip, from here to Detroit Metro and back. 
So from, if from this center. Yep, from here. Oh, yep. Wow. I know. Yeah, it's yeah. an amazing thing. And again, that is for me is a, a, a non negotiable. I'm like, that must be part of it because I don't want you to have to worry about getting to Detroit Metro. If you go online and book a trip that's not offered through the center, then you're on your own for transportation. So this is something that we as a, as a the center and myself made sure that that was included. But this is nice to have. If it's two people, you're in a metro car. If it's a group, you might be in a, a van like this. If it's a big group, motor coach, okay? All included. All of our tours are by plane. So anything you do with Premier World Discovery, you get on an airplane and you get to your destination. Mm -hmm. So, and I know there's, I used to do bus tours, so I know there's a lot of places people go by bus, but some of those bus track rides are really far and take days to get there, right? So we want to get you there quickly. Every trip will have a professional tour director from start to finish. So when you get to your destination, that person will be like, hello, woo, hello, they'll see your lanyard, you'll, be, you'll have your name tag, and they'll be with a sign at the airport waiting for you, and they will get you uh, to the bus and get you on your way. All of our tours, once you arrive, are on deluxe motor coaches, right? So you're familiar with the motor coach. They're comfortable, they're clean, they're spacious. Um, they rotate the seating. It's really nice. And there's restrooms and videos, so nice way to travel through the countryside. Every trip has breakfast, every day breakfast included, buffet, every trip, okay? Dinners, we do multiple dinners, usually a welcome dinner, a farewell dinner, and a couple other kind of sprinkled in the middle, or lunch, whatever, but we do want you also experience local cuisine on your own as well. So it's kind of nice to do that. Sometimes group dinners get to be old after a while, the same thing. We offer booking discounts. What that means is we do welcome a credit card. You can pay by credit card, make your deposit by a credit card, no problem. If you can make your final payment on time by check, you'll receive $100 off per person from our tour. Some of them are $200 depending on the the destination, but it's $100 off per person, and that's a nice little savings. The only thing I recommend if you pay by check is to put it, go to the post office and do priority mail. Make sure it's tracked because you don't want to like mail a check out, you know, mail a little envelope and hope that it makes it to California, right? So, and then I have these in there because I just think it has been, these last few years, we are done behind us, right? It's time now. It's time to start traveling. So let's get into our first trip. So, the um, Christy wanted to do something for Christmas this year. The holiday, our holiday tours are so popular. They've been extremely popular. And this one happens to be uh, one of our top selling destinations. And people come from all over the country. And our company, obviously, who has sales reps all over the country, but everyone loves this because the Christmas markets are quite spectacular, right? And then they have them in Europe, but if you don't want to cross the pond or maybe you can't afford to go over, you know, to Europe to see them, you don't have to. You can go to Canada and see these amazing Christmas markets. This trip is December 7th through the 11th of this year, and um, it's Montreal and Quebec. And the nice thing for us is we're Michiganders, right? So if it's winter and it's chilly, we're okay. We, you know, people coming from California are like, it's so cold here. We're like, for us, it's nothing. So you'll fly into Montreal. You're going to stay four nights accommodations, two nights Montreal and two nights in Quebec City. You've got six meals included, so four breakfasts, two dinners. And then, of course, your tour director. And you arrive in Montreal when we fly in. And let me tell you something. Christmas time in these cities, the way they decorate and the way they light up is just an amazing sight to see because the towns are beautiful. Montreal is lovely. Everything's on the water, so it's got a great view. Our hotels are one of these two hotels there or here. Location, fantastic. Walking distance from everything. And then you'll that first day, we just kind of have a free day to just kind of get settled in in that. Montreal at night, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the river, like the, the river right across through town, and they turn into a skating pond, and it just, they do a magnificent job. Day two of full city tour of Montreal, which will take in obviously the city, the outskirts, all the famous sites, Notre Dame Cathedral. Look at this, the, the at Christmas time, it's lit up beautifully, the stained glass, um, St. Joseph's Oratory, um, Jacques Cartier Square, we'll get a chance to see all this, uh, McGill University. Um, we'll take you up to Mount Royal to get a view, a view of the city from up high. And then of course, we also visit the underground city called the Reso. This is a complex that is just unbelievable. There is a performing arts center in there. There are offices, there's apartments, there's stores, there's restaurants, there's everything you can imagine indoor, underground in Montreal. And it's all decorated for Christmas as well. 
And then of course the beautiful old town area um, with the brick streets and stuff and makes you feel like you're in France, right? It's, it's very French and beautiful. And the Christmas markets are lovely. And if you've never been to Christmas markets before like this, it is literally local vendors and people come from all over to, to share their goods, right? Whether it's, you know, roasted nuts, foods, hot cocoa, hot wine, whatever, or Christmas ornaments, things like that. It's a lovely way to do some Christmas shopping and kind of get into the holiday spirit. And then that will have your welcome dinner which we have a lot, farewell and welcome dinners are, are as a group. And when we bid adieu to Montreal, and then the next morning after breakfast, you board a train. You're gonna board uh, Rail Canada and head to Quebec City. So it's, the bus is gonna cruise over by themselves to meet you on the other side while you take this lovely rail, railway. Um, and I don't know, early December, if it'd be that snowy, we never know, right? Probably not, but um, beautiful nonetheless. And then, of course, the magnificent city of Quebec. I mean, it is uh, known as the Paris of the North. It certainly gives you, although Montreal is very French, but this you really feel like you're in Europe when you go into step into Quebec City. So we'll give you a chance to, um, you know, arrive and take all take in all the sights in that. And your hotel is on the top left corner here, right in walking distance of town. And then on our next morning after breakfast. We do um, the Albert Gilles Copper Museum, and Albert Gilles was born in France in the 1800s, and his aunt or his aunt taught him how to hammer copper and make creative things out of copper, and then this turned into obviously a love and a, and a passion. And the family still runs this museum, and and you can go in and the you know the gift shops great. They show you how they work it. We're also going to visit Montmorency Falls. Um, by December they won't be frozen, but you'll get a lot of this, but. In the winter, this is like a bridge here. People walk across. I mean, it's this is quite mag it's quite large. It doesn't you can't tell in the pictures, but um, this freezes in the winter, so it's quite lovely. And then of course, Old Town, the Citadel, which of course the you know protects the city, that fortress that protects the city. You get a chance to learn about the history and the battles and all the people who tried to conquer this area and take it over. And um, and this is actually the Plains of Abraham are the battlefields that they've turned into like a community area where people come and, and spend time and enjoy. And then of course, we'll, in the city tour, you'll see the old town area as well. You know, the brick streets and the shops, everything is decorated quite lovely, the windows and, and all that as well. So you'll have a chance to take all this in, enjoy the Christmas markets and the town itself as well and uh, maybe enjoy some Christmas carolers. It's, it's really a, a, a really lovely way to kind of get in the holiday spirit. And then our farewell dinner will be in Quebec City, and then you'll fly back from uh, Montreal. And your trip is December 11th through, 7th through the 11th. The regular rate is $28.99, and again, that does include air and your airport transfers and everything that's on the tour. And then if you make the booking discount, uh, or if you pay by check, they get that booking discount, $100, and single, is 600. So you add the 600 to the price if you're a single uh, in your own room. First come, first serve, this trip will sell out, guaranteed. Matter of fact, it's probably close. I think we had to add another bus. Um, deposit is $300. Final payment, September 27th. Travel protection is 299 On the back of the flyer, everything I'm telling you and showing you is listed right here in this right column and the uh, booking reservations at the top. So everything's here. And it is certainly um, easy to, uh, to follow along that. So kick off that holiday spirit in, in Canada if you're looking for something different, unique to do. Next trip I want to talk about, this one we just put out there. Um, and I think this is a great idea. Christy was like, let's try some things at Christmas time. This is a neat one. So our Rose Parade New Year's event is our annual thing. It is always sells out. My company's based in California, so when you go there, it's kind of a neat, you know, the owners come out and treat you really special. This is this year, December 30th through January 4th, and wait until you see all the things to see and do in, on this tour. So you'll fly into Southern California, and you will fly into LA and out of LA, so your flight in and out of LA, and you are going to be doing five nights in one hotel in Costa Mesa. So it's a hub and spoke which is really a wonderful way to travel. Uh, gives you an opportunity to not just unpack once and then you just go out and out every day. Five breakfasts, one lunch, three dinners, tour director. And then of course, when you arrive in, it's, you know, this is, you're gonna 
go in one year and come home in another year, right? So we leave on day one, and your hotel will be at the Hilton Orange in Orange County, which is lovely and close to Mesa. And, you know, of course, Rose Parade, all the theme is going to be that as well. It's a great location, lovely property. Um, you know, and in this uh, time of year, it's about 70 degrees there. So for us, it's cold, right? New Year's, so it's kind of nice to go somewhere warm and escape. We're going to the um, San Juan Capistrano Mission, so you get a chance to take in all the sightseeing and history in the area as well. Laguna Beach, I mean, look at that. Imagine that New Year's, like, around the end of December. How lovely. Um, we'll take in the downtown Laguna Beach area, where, again, you will always have free time to browse and do a little bit of shopping. Newport Beach is another area. Notice it's kind of like a, a cove that's surrounded by, um, you know, just by the people and, the, and life. And Newport Beach Pier, we'll give you some time to walk the pier. And then we're going to do a New Year's Eve party. So, we, you know, obviously a big celebration for the New Year's. Great way to take in the New Year in California, right? And we'll have our party. And then on January 1st, there is going to be obviously the, the Rose Parade and how this is a huge event. As you know, with the football game and all that going on, that whole thing, this is some this is a huge national event. But what's nice is we have like seating, we have like it's a like our own section that we put you in. It's it, we have it very structured, very organized. Um, and then oh, it says here, sorry, on this day it's moved to January 2nd instead of the first because it they have never on a Sunday rule. So this particular year it will fall um, on the January 2nd. And that dates back to the 1800s. So your Tournament of Roses Parade, which is actually January 2nd, um, this is, I mean, absolutely like nothing you've ever seen. It's kind of like comparison to the, you know, uh, New York uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade type thing, but these floats are roses, right? It's just absolutely magnificent way to see things. And the marching bands, the best. If you see a parade, they are my favorite. These marching bands, they register for this it years in advance, like two years in advance. I know this because I used to sell marching band travel. And you have to be a certain size. You have to have certain awards. You have to be of a certain magnitude to even make it to march in this parade. So these are like University of Michigan marching band. Again, like things like that. Big, giant high schools that march in the parades. Um, we have a lunch at Lowry's. And then you're going to be doing a panoramic holiday in Beverly Hills tour as well. So we're going to take you there. You'll see the Grauman's Chinese Theater, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I mean, this is just really a unique way to take in all the Hollywood and all that area. Visit to Rodeo Drive. For me, I've been to Rodeo Drive, and I definitely do window shopping. <laughs> I don't go. I can't afford to shop in those stores. And then we also take you to see the floats on display. So after the parade is over, they actually display all the floats and we walk around and, and just take pictures and see them and uh, learn about them and uh, get the history. The Richard Nixon Presidential Library and Museum also is, is part of the tour. And it's obviously uh, dedicated to Richard Nixon, but there's also other all kinds of presidential memorabilia and things inside there as well. And of course, the Oval Office replica of what it looked like when he was in office. And of course, um, there is also a tour of San Diego. So not only are you doing LA, but you're also going to get to see the historic and scenic and amazing city of San Diego. It is, the gas lamp porter is just awesome. Very clean, very well kept. Um, you know, and then of course the marina and all that. Look at these lovely buildings and uh, again, and of course the, the lovely little, we love the statue, it's so cute. Um, and then Balboa Park, we'll take you into there as well and give you a chance to browse around. And then Old Town, it's like a state historic park now, Old Town San Diego, so you'll get a chance to see the mission and all the historic buildings and you know, browse around at all the shops and the things that people make. And um, we're doing a San Diego Harbor Cruise as well, and you'll get a chance to get a tour from a different perspective from the water. And you'll see the Navy aircraft carrier from the tour, which is just ginormous. Look at that. And that's all, you'll see that all from the cruise. And, the, and of course, the bridge, the Coronado Bay Bridge, and uh, lovely area. Coronado Island, um, you'll get a chance to see that as well. And then you fly home on day six, again, December 30 through January 4, $36.25, and then $100 booking discount. Single supplement, 700, and again, this trip is, I think right now we're at 36 people as of today. Um, temperatures, okay, I was a little off, but 69, 66 degrees in that area in December. 
let's say in January too. Yeah, about the same. So reservations, first come, first serve, $300 deposit. Final payment is October 16th. Travel protection, $299. Again, that's on the back of the flyer. If you're interested or if you know anyone, which I should mention, because we fly everywhere, if you have friends, family, relatives, anybody that you can think of that might want to travel with you from another state, we can fly people from anywhere to join you. So say you have a friend that lives in Colorado. You think, oh, she would love this trip. I would love to meet her. We can fly her to meet you in California or wherever we're going, and then you join together and do your tour that way. All right, next trip, Hawaii. So let's talk a little bit, first of all, um, I've been praying for all the people and the families. It's such a devastation what's happened in, in Maui, and Maui is part of our tour, so I want to mention this. I, we were talking about this before everybody got here. Um, this trip is six months from now, and tourism is their number one thing. Matter of fact, this morning, I was reading, because I'm reading constantly about Maui and what's happening, and as of this morning, like the last thing they said was, don't come to Maui. We don't, you know, we don't, now they're saying, and you'll read this and they're surprised, is you can come to Maui, just don't go to Lahaina in that area. So they're blocking off. The island of Maui is 700 plus square miles. It is huge. So our area is in Kaunapali, where our hotel is. Sadly, we do have a tour in Lahaina. We are visiting, we, you know, we're planning to visit Lahaina. Um, and we're hoping that within six months time, they're going to be bustling to try to put things back together the best they can. Because tourism is their number one industry, jobs, people. I mean, that's what they rely on, right? So we're, we're welcome and happy to bring them business in February when they're going to need it and they want to build back up. We actually have groups going in November. So we're kind of at this point trying to, trying to talk to our vendors, our, our Hawaiian partners, and see what's going on and what we can do to, to help them. Our trip is February 20th through the 28th. Uh, it is a nine-day Three Island Adventure. Uh, you will fly from Detroit to Honolulu. Last year they flew Delta nonstop. It was pretty cool. <laughs> the people loved it. Um, I don't know how the little flights will be this year, but you fly into Hon to Oahu, three nights there. Uh, then you go to the Big Island, spend two nights there, and then three nights in Maui on the way back in Kanapali. So this has eight meals, I mean, excuse me, 11 meals, eight breakfasts, three dinners included, and of course, tour director with you the whole time and then our hotel in Oahu all of our properties are resort hotels so walking distance from everything you'd need to see and do welcome dinner and of course no visit to Oahu is complete without Pearl Harbor so a visit to Pearl Harbor is a historical moving amazing experience placards movie film news clippings uh, just uh, artifacts, all kinds of things you could imagine to go there, and there's so much to see and do. But the main, you know, the main draw obviously is going to the USS Arizona Arizona Memorial. Uh, flag is always at half mast. You take the ferry over, and you can see the ship. And this is actually uh, a tomb, right, of the soldiers who perished here. So you'll get a chance to go over and do the memorial, pay homage to our soldiers, and um, also. We visit the National Cemetery at the Punch Bowl, which is an old crater that they've turned into this lovely cemetery of the Pacific that holds our, uh, our veterans as well. Um, you'll also on our tour take in the state capitol, the governor's mansion, Chinatown. You'll learn about King Kamehameha and his reign and his palace, which is absolutely spectacular. It's amazing the palace is more beautiful than the, the, uh, state, you know, the state building, the uh, capital. Um, you'll have a day at leisure in Honolulu, so there's lots to do. There is, you know, we have people that go, oh, I want to go fishing, I want to go to the, the, the zoo, I want to sit at the beach and do nothing, I want to go shopping. So we give you some free time to enjoy uh, Waikiki and the area as well. If you do not want to have a free day, you want to take a tour, we have a full Oahu Circle Island tour that takes in like um, the Dole Plantation and the uh, Boudou Temple and, um, you know, the, the North Shore it includes lunch and all kinds of sightseeing. And that is on day three. You do not have to prepay for that option. It will be available when you get there. If you decide later, oh, I'd like to do that, you can purchase it when you get there. Price of that is probably about $175 per person to add. But again, if you want a free day in Oahu, you do not have to do the optional tour. Then you fly to Hilo, the big island. And the big island of Hawaii is two major, you know, 
Kona and Hilo are on the opposite sides of the island. So you'll fly into Hilo. The flight's about 35 minutes. So from up to down and unloaded and everything is within an hour, right? It's really quick and easy. Bus will be waiting for you, and they will take you to the Volcanoes uh, National Park, obviously. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, meaning people come from all over the world to see this unbelievable place. It's just hissing geysers and all kinds of things, boiling, boiling you know, lava and all kinds of things happening. And it's been very active these past couple years. So we will give you the opportunity to spend some time seeing Volcanoes National Park. We'll also take you to the Black Sand Beaches, which are famous here from the lava and get a chance to see the white crashing you know, water onto the shore. It's really neat to stick your toes in the sand. And we're also going to take you over to the other side of the island, to the Kona Coast. This is the scenic, lush, tropical um, coffee fields and waterfalls and rainforests and tropical animals and birds and things. And this is where they film a lot of movies. It is quite lovely. And you're going to spend um, your time in Kona. At the, at the Sheraton, I think there's two different hotels that we use. Yep, there's two different ones. This one, either the Kona Sheraton or the Royal Kona. So the resorts are amazing. I mean, there's obviously so much to see and do. The views, the, you know, the koi ponds, the restaurants, all kinds of things. We'll take you into Kailua Kona, into the town, and part of the tour as well. And then um, you have a day at leisure in Kona. So this is important. There's so, again... What we've learned over years is there's so much for people to see and do that you have to give people free time to do what they want to do. We will offer a whale watching cruise in Kona. Uh, price of this is around the 200 range. Again, it's not for everyone, so it's not included. But if you want to do it, it will be available. And they, it's definitely whale season in February. Then day six, we fly into Maui. So the first thing, and again, remember, Maui is a huge island. There's so much to see and do there that has been unaffected or not affected by, thank God, by what's going on there. But the Iao Valley and Needles, um, again, Hawaii is all about the spirits and the gods, the god of water, the god of the sea, the god of the sun, all these things. And this area is very sacred. And I love that they keep their traditions so alive there, and they're so proud of their heritage. And you'll see that when you're there. We'll take you, oh, day six, Lahaina, why that's in there? Why is Lahaina in there? Jumped over. Oh, yeah, because we do head to Lahaina. Okay, so here's, here's what Lahaina looks like. We had shops and things to do in Lahaina. Again, by the time we get there, I don't really know what's going to be happening in, uh, in this area. And we'll just have to wait and see in six months' time. But we certainly, I don't know why that got flipped in there. That's so strange. Okay. So anyway, okay, Yao Valley. Look at this all backwards. I do apologize for that. Hang on, what's happening? Am I going backwards? Oh, I'm going backwards. I'm pushing the buttons backwards. Look at me. Okay, that's what messed me up. Okay, so our, here we are. Our hotel is in Kanapali and at the Royal Lahaina. And again, it's right on the ocean and all the amenities you could want while there. And then we have a day at leisure in Maui. So we have a, we, our first day, we were doing Lahaina and it will probably be replaced with something else. If we're able to see Lahaina, go there, pay homage, you know, pay our respects to, to the community. What's happening at that time, we don't know, but if not, we'll then do something else on Maui. And then you'll have a free day there as well. And then on day eight, we are going to visit Mount Haleakala National Park, known as the House of the Sun. This is miles and miles above sea level. You'll get a chance to go up to this beautiful area and learn about things that grow and live there, the indigenous things that live in this forbidden place. It's so so it's like going to another planet, almost like the Volcano National Park, but a little bit different. It's very mountainous, very eerie, and very lovely. Um, it's a really lovely day. And then our farewell dinner, we go back to the hotel, freshen up, all that good stuff. Our farewell dinner is a feast for a king. I mean, oh my goodness, look at this buffet. It's buffets and buffets and buffets, and all the people gather. It's really quite a, a lovely setting. Put on your Hawaiian clothes, everyone gets a lei, and then you get to as the sun starts to set, see all the dances and the chants and learn about the culture. And everything they do, every dance they do, everything has a meaning, right? There's always a story behind the Hawaiian culture. And then as it gets darker, they bring out the fire and you get to hear the chants and see the dancing and just enjoy the experience. And maybe even get up and learn to hula, maybe, right? And then we say aloha to Hawaii 
and then we return home possibly on an extra day. So nine day trip, you might come home on day 10 because we have quite the distance to come back. My groups last year actually left uh, Maui at, um, I think 8 p.m., something like that. So they got that whole last day to spend on their own, which I really loved. Price $57.25, booking discount February 20th through the 28th or March 1st, depending. And your single supplement is $2,075. Ouch. Um, that's high because it's the price of the hotels are really high in Hawaii. So the single supplement, if you're wondering how that's calculated, it's only done, the only thing that makes a difference in that price is the hotel. Because instead of two people sharing a room, it's one person paying for the hotel. So our, you know, we have like a Excel spreadsheet that calculates it all out at the end, and that's the single for Hawaii. It's very high because the hotels are very expensive. Booking discount, $100. If you make it final payment by check, $400 deposit. Again, this is all on the back of the flyer. There's a $400 deposit due. Final payment 75 days prior, which I think is like December, early December. Insurance, travel protection is $325 per person. And again, that's all listed here. And by the way, if you don't purchase the insurance, our cancellation fees are also in a box, usually like boxed in here at the bottom. Um, but again, if you have your own insurance, that's fine as well. Um, and then travel protection, I will kind of go through, I'll talk about that more at the, uh, at the end. I'll go into great detail about it as well. So let me get through this. We'll get to that at the end. Okay, here we go. Next trip I want to talk about, i got two left. This is our Black Hills Badlands and Mount Rushmore tour. This trip, uh, we, again, we just added this one recently. This has been very popular in Michigan. So Christy was like, what can we do in the summer? What would be something that we can throw out there for people to get away and, and uh, escape a little bit? This is our Black Hills Badlands, Mount Rushmore, and it is July 10th through the 16th. And this trip, I did this last year, and it was amazing and i've been there before so i was so excited to go back so you fly from here to rapid city south dakota you are going to again stay in one hotel for six nights hub and spoke and this destination is the easiest place to hub and spoke from to all the places you're going to see and do so six nights will be at the holiday Inn rushmore plaza right in rapid city right downtown you'll have 10 meals included six breakfasts four dinners on this trip quite a quite a bit Again, hotels, your breakfast will be a full buffet, and you'll have your tour director. And then here is downtown Rapid City. So on your arrival day, we try to, we'll have you there in the afternoon, check in, and then you can browse around, walk around a little bit Rapid City. Because the next day, we start your touring. So here's your welcome dinner. And then we take off on day tour, first thing first, Mount Rushmore. So again, if you've been there, you know how absolutely moving and amazing it is. I hadn't been there in like 25 years and I went back last year and as beautiful as it was, there's still more and more things are doing around this area. So if you've never been, I certainly highly recommend at least once in your life to see this. It was, it, we were in tears, it's really quite moving and you have this wonderful like walkway leading up to it and um, they've done a lot of work. Crazy Horse Memorial, we will drive 15 minutes to go here. And they also, I hadn't been there in a long time, they built like right here is this really incredible viewing platform that's got shops and restaurants. And there was indigenous like uh, tribes that were selling some of their native goods and things. It was amazing. So right here is this kind of like um, huge, big giant area with seating and park benches and things. And you can actually, we took the picture. I'm, we have a picture of my family standing right here. And this is Crazy Horse, the goal, and this is where they're at right now. So, and they have, um, it's been through many hands to, to build this and they're trying to just get as much as they can to keep on going. Custer State Park, we're obviously the home of the most beautiful, it is like kind of in the middle of the state and it's absolutely the most scenic. It's got the hoodoos, it's got ponds and lakes and wildlife, and you're going to take a safari ride to see the buffalo um, safely from a vehicle, see the buffalo. We're also going to take you to the state, the gate, the same game, the state game lodge, a historic lodge right in the middle of the park where you can, um, I think it dates back to the 1800s, go inside and, and we'll give you a, a dinner there as well. Next day, Devil's Tower. Um, again, Mother Nature creations in this area. Just what you see is just magnificent. Deadwood, South Dakota. We'll take you into Deadwood. There is um, a lot of history here, a lot of 
like cowboy western stories and things and ghost stories and all kinds of stuff but there's gaming there's shops there's saloons there's you know sometimes cowboys dressed up doing fake shootouts in the street you know it's that kind of town but it's really just this strip that's it it's one strip and uh, really a neat place there's the you know uh, the assassination of Jack McCall <coughs> who shot Wild Bill Hickok and that we actually went into that cafe and had lunch, uh, had like, you know, just a hamburger just to, just to be there and see it. And of course, a lot of famous Western folk, Calamity Jane and Wild Bill, they're all buried there. So they're all, this, this town has a lot of good history. After we leave Deadwood, you'll hit Spearfish Canyon on the way back, like back towards the hotel. Very scenic, lots of stops, picturesque. We take pictures, get on and off the bus, um, but lovely, lovely scenery. Next day, you leave the hotel and you head south into um, the Mammoth site and museum is in Hot Springs, Hot Springs, South Dakota. And this is unique because this has got a story. Back in 1772 or 74, um, the town, there was this mound of dirt in, this, in the middle of town. And everyone complained about this mound of dirt forever. Like somebody's got to do something with this land. So this gentleman came in. I'm going to buy this land, I'm going to build on here, we'll put houses, we'll build, you know, right? He goes in with an excavator, boom, first dig, hits bones. They're like, what is in here? What it is, it is a, um, a sinkhole. It's a sinkhole. So in this sinkhole, they found woolly mammoth bones. Look at this, this is all woolly mammoth bones. And other creatures and animals that fell in trying to get water in that, right? So um, this is filled with treasures. And it is a current archaeological dig. So what they did is it started out as a dig and then they put a building over it, right? And now it's kind of like a museum. And there are people down there working. There's flags, there's people chiseling away. And you walk around this room and you see this whole dig. It is incredible. The Journey Museum is also part of this day, right in the same area. And this is obviously a, uh, you know, a amazing museum to our Native Americans, right? That lived in this community and thrived in this community. And it is, again, clean and lovely and full of history. Next day, we are going to take you to the Badlands. So from the hotel, you then head eastbound towards the Badlands and a national park. <clears throat> I think I have a picture standing in front of that sign. But this is another very eerie, unique place that you're just surprised. You're on this tour, doing all this sightseeing. And then you go here, and again, it's filled with this unique structures and hoodoos and lakes and ponds. It just winds. You're just winding through it, pretty much taking in the scenery. I mean, look at that. It's awesome absolutely awesome and there's viewing platforms see this so the bus might stop and those that want to go out and go take pictures um my husband who's a veteran of 30 years soldier big tough guy was scared to death wouldn't even go near the wouldn't even go near the ledges here he was like tracy be careful i'm like i'm fine you know it's 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 very intimidating it's so huge also going to visit wall drugstore again this is something that you may have heard of or seen or maybe you've been there but um, this couple owned this drugstore years and they, you know, had their little business. But when the highway came in, nobody came. They stopped coming to their, to, you know, they weren't passing through town. So they ended up putting billboards all on the highway. Free water, free water, free water. Stop at Wall Drug, right? So people came and um, then, of course, it now became, it's, a, it's, a, it's an emporium. I like to call it like an emporium because it's filled with shops. It's like this little western place there's little shops the original um little stores there and storefront whatever it looks like but it's indoor so it's a really neat there's restaurants there's food there's ice cream there's everything you can imagine in this place it is really really cool and um, a lot of fun and you get your free water you go outside and it's like the little pointed you know white cups that you fill it tastes horrible but we got our free water took a picture you know drinking our water We'll also visit Fort Hayes, which is the Dances with Wolves movie set. So you get a chance to actually step into a movie set, you know, see it. And then if you watch the movie again, you can be like, oh, yeah, I was there. So uh, lots of fun to do that as well. The last, um, not the last night, but this night we're doing a Chuck Wagon supper dinner show. So it's right in that same area. It's in Fort Hayes. Then you go inside and it's live entertainment and a big, like, you know, chuck wagon style supper with, you know, music and singing. It's all very patriotic and, and wonderful. So it's a really neat way. Next day after breakfast, we're going to take you to something else that was, now my family loves trains. So this was really our thing. And if you're traveling with your husband or anybody that loves trains, this is certainly uh, 
an awesome experience. So we go to the train depot and there are, you know, trains at the depot all sitting there and you can look at them and there are people in uniform, like costumes, right? That are like acting like they're in character, right? And my kids love this. But you take this 1880 train from Hill City into Keystone and the drive is lovely. It's just a nice, you know, windy ride. I think we had a hold up when we were on it. Some people did a little hold up on the boat, you know, the, and they stopped the train. Uh oh, there's people coming to hold up the train. It was, it was really cute. But it's just awesome. The trains are historic. They're, they're just absolutely something to see. It's, it's just magnificent, the collection they have. And then you end up in, when you go to Hill City, or excuse me, Keystone, when you get to the other end, you disembark the train, and then the town's right there. So it's, it's lovely. Um, we are going to, I think that day too, you get, we stop at a gold factory as well in Keystone. Our farewell dinner will be at the K Bar Lodge. So a nice dinner, again, a lodge. And then the last thing we're going to take you to is Mount Rushmore at night. So what they did at Mount Rushmore is they built this amphitheater. And at night, every night, um, they put on like a, a film and a show. And if you're lucky, and I think they do this all summer, um, every night, veterans are asked to come down to the stage, right? So they'll have a stage filled with 100 veterans up there. And then they take down the flag and they do the actual folding ceremony after they show the film. And my husband, who's now you know, was military for 30 years, had that short haircut, the whole thing, grew his hair long, he's kind of looks like a hippie now, um, went down there and at, got asked to fold the flag. He actually did the poop, the corner to corner folding. He was the man that was, we're in the back, we're up in the thing crying, we're filming it, my kids are crying, we're just, it was incredible. It's a great way to, um, you know, just see, uh, you know, um, just the military, watch them take the flag down, um, and it's incredible at night. It's all illuminated, um, everything's lit up. It, it's spectacular. Next morning, you'll have breakfast, you'll check out, and then we'll fly you home. So you get home, um, you know, probably in the early evening. July 10th through the 16th, regular rate $33.49. Again, $100 booking discount. Single supplement is $800. And your deposit, $400. Final payment, payment is due April 26th of next year. And then your travel protection is $325, which again is all listed on the back of the flyer. So that's that trip. Oh, last but not least. Oh, less than an hour. I'm doing really good. <laughs> um, so, highlights of Italy's Amalfi Coast. I'm going to tell you this right up front. Um, you're very lucky because this trip, after we booked this, the price in Italy went up. But we had already contracted with, with Shelby Township. It's over $1,000 to go, $4,000 now to go per person. This is the deal of the century. If you want to go to Italy and you want to see this just incredible destination and itinerary, this is the deal. Of the, this is a really good value. So I'm just going to put it out there. So um, I mean, it's not much more than doing some of the domestic trips that we're offering. So let's talk about the Italy's Amalfi Coast trip. October 22nd through the 29th, 2024. There is a slight chance I might be on this trip. <laughs> this is my bucket list. I believe my mother will be going. I'm trying to get your, know, we're, we're, this is the date and this is the trip that I just, for the price and for what you're seeing and doing, it's, it's just unbelievable. So how this works, you fly into Rome, you spend five nights in one hotel. Again, hub and spoke from this area, from Sorrento. And we do do one night in Rome on the way out so that we, were, you know, don't, we don't want to rush you to the airport that last day, so we spend the night in Rome on the way out. So how it works is you're, you know, again, five nights in Sorrento, one night in Rome at the end of the tour, and, uh, and then there's so much more I can't wait to tell you about. Ten meals are included on this trip, six breakfasts, four dinners tour director. Now, mind you, this lady is not on all these trips. <laughs> she's just my picture. I think she's cute, so I throw her in there, but you know, they're all from all over. Our tour director, like on a trip like this, would be somebody that does Italy, and that's what they specialize in. Same with even South Dakota. Anywhere we take you, you're going to have someone who specializes in that area, and then they, you know, they take care of everything for you. So you'll arrive in Rome, and we're going to transport you to Sorrento and along the Amalfi Coast. So this is this is so picturesque, and what's really interesting is like, look at how little the people are. I mean, this is so grand and amazing. It, you can't even really get the feel until you're there. So we're going to spend five nights. Our hotel's obviously right on the water. Location is great. Um, amenities are perfect. And I am half Italian, so for me, whether you're Italian or not, it's still an awesome destination, but this is something that I'm really hopefully praying to get to go. 
So we're going to do a Sorrento walking tour. I will tell you this, Italy is probably going to be a maximum on the activity level because of the cobblestones and the stairs. They don't, in Europe, they don't have ADA. They're not ADA aware like we are, right? Everything we have is ramps and elevators and all that. That's not like that in Italy. So, you know, if I just am very, very transparent about that, about this destination. But you'll do a Sorrento walking tour. And the Piazza Tazzo, now Piazza, Piazza is like the center of town, right? Where everybody gathers. So in Italy, as you can imagine, everyone's eating and drinking wine all the time. So you're always going to hit the piazza, which I always recommend people going there, even on your free time, where people are just eating and drinking and enjoying, uh, and the views and the, the statues and the, and the sculptures you're going to see everywhere are just magnificent. Um, the, you know, everything included in the tour, you'll get to see. We're going to do some limoncello demonstration and tasting, so you get a chance to, to do that as well. Very sweet, and very tangy. Um, we'll visit the town of Ravello, much like it's all, this is all along the coast, so the towns are all stacked on the mountain and the views are out of this world. Um, in the, via, the Via Ruffalo, we'll go a chance to do the, visit the villa and, you know, get off the bus and walk to these areas and get some of these amazing views. We'll give you free time in Ravello to do some shopping. So again, uh, you know, you'll, these are treasures you won't find here and other places, just things that you'll find locally that are made. Um, you know, glass and jewelry and pottery and all kinds of artwork and things like that as well. You can see some of the souvenirs here just from local people. And of course, you'll have free time to grab lunch and do some shopping. We visit the Amalfi Coast on day four. And again, the bus is taking you places, but you're on and off the motor coach and do a little bit of walking in between. Um, but again, the coast, see the, the, the walls, all the ancient walls and things. And there's just some amazing architecture the cathedral in Amalfi. So this is a town of Amalfi. So you're actually going into town and doing the walking tour. Um, and you'll visit the Piazza Duomo in, right, in Amalfi in the town. And again, this is where everyone gathers, right? This is the place to be. Day four, you visit Positano, which is, um, you know, a town obviously right on the water, a boating, beachy kind of town with shops and, and Italian and lots of food and lots of, of wine and, uh, you know, sailboats. This is like a Positano is like a vac it's like a weekend vacation place where people might, you know, would go, like a Traverse City type thing, right, where people go on the weekends and spend time there to, to get in the area. But the shops are lovely. Um, we'll give you free time to have lunch somewhere with a view maybe, perhaps, and give you uh, time after the tour. We're also going to visit a cheese factory, um, which is really interesting. They do the mozzarella, right? So you get a chance to see how they make that, how they, you know, turn them into the, the balls and they hang them and all that good stuff and then have some, uh, some tasting and enjoy that as well. I would, I probably, if I go, I will buy some cheese and put it in my hotel room and eat it every day. <laughs> um, day five, you can enjoy a day at leisure. So one thing you learn about Premier is that we always like to give everybody like a break. We know that when you're go, 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 especially overseas, you will crash. After a couple days, you're going to get tired, right? So this is an opportunity to just spend the day in Sorrento doing what you want, you know, hanging out, shopping, eating, browsing, that type of thing, meeting the locals, whatever you want to do, visit the churches, whatever. But we will offer an optional tour to the Isle of Capri. And again, with options with us, unlike a cruise, you don't need to prepay that ahead of time. When you get to the destination, there's a form, and it'll be in your final documents with all the optional tours, what the prices are. When you get there, you can choose if you want to do that or not. But the Isle of Capri, of course, is going to be you know, very scenic, um, just an op opportunity to go to the island and, and take it all in. I mean, it's, again, more of beautiful historic towns, beautiful churches, cathedrals, architecture, and then Anna Capri is the little town there. Uh, just lovely. And get a chance to see the Via San Michel, walk around. I mean, again, it's... I don't even need to keep describing it. It's just be, pictures really speak for itself. So this area, this is a really lovely day. But again, if you don't take the tour, um, you get to enjoy Sorrento as well, which you're at the hotel there. You're not getting as much time to do that. There's an, also an optional tour to Naples on day six. Now, um, again, the optional prices, I'm going to have to say probably the 150, 175 per person price range. Um, but it'll be like a full day. So another day uh, tour would be Naples. So you can choose if you want to do one or the other. It's nice to take a day off. I'll be honest with you. So it, it is kind of nice to have a day to yourself, 
in the middle of the itinerary in Sorrento and just kind of unwind. However, if you want to do both optional tours, you can, and that way you can keep busy and, and take a tour and go into Naples. So Naples, obviously, again, very old historic city. I mean, look at the ruins of these beautiful cathedrals. However, um, very clean, very modern, filled with history. Obviously, every, every town you go to is going to have their major cathedral you can go inside and, and take the tour of. Um, you know, the tour itself will take all this in. The Royal Palace will all be part of the tour. More than likely a walking tour because buses can't drive into these areas as well. The town square. And then, of course, um, the new castle that's built by uh, a French family, interestingly enough, in Italy. Uh, but just something unique. And then on this day tour, we'll, we'll take you to an area. You can get some lunch, uh, pizza if you want, pasta, whatever you might want to get, and enjoy some wood-fired traditional pizzas. I think pizza came from this area, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you know, started here. But day seven, this is again, this is probably why I want to go on this trip the most is, is Pompeii. Pompeii is included. This is all on day seven. We're going to take you. And as you know, if you've been listening to the news and reading about it, they're still finding discoveries now that are like, now that excavation has become even more modern and they have more equipment that they're able to do, they're finding more and more things in Pompeii. So there's a lot to see. But it's amazing. The interesting thing about the story of Pompeii, too, is how the reason that people didn't disintegrate, because in, in, imagine, like this just completely hit and everyone was frozen in time because it was the perfect uh, temperature. I guess there was... Um, the length of time that it happened, the temperature of the air, everything just happened to let everything freeze in time. So nothing really got melted away. You would think that everybody thing would have been destroyed. This is what Pompeii. So you'll actually go there and you'll see the town. You'll actually see how these people lived and what the town would have looked like and how beautifully preserved it is. And then, of course, the people that pair. Oh, yeah, this is, they're able to chisel away and they all just perfect because of the the perfect balance of the weather and the length of time this hit and how fast it hit, this is what you got preserved and this is everywhere. So it's quite awesome. Day seven, we'll get up and have breakfast, we'll head to Rome. Now, on Rome, we will spend that last night, right, in the hotel. And then for those of you who, um, you know, you'll spend the night, you'll have a little free time in Rome, and then you fly home, you have your farewell dinner, and then you fly home on day eight. So the tour ends there unless you want to see Rome, more of Rome. So, and the reason we don't include Rome is because a lot of people have been to Rome. It's a very popular city that you, is linked into every trip to Italy just about. And, the, and for those of you who've never done Amalfi Coast, we don't include it. However, it's a very, very affordable add-on to do three days in Rome. It's a two-night, three-day option for $625 only to add that in, single 200 only. So let's go through what you'll see on this. If you've never been to Rome, highly recommend adding this on. So you'd have your tour director, you'd have your tours and all that, your baggage handling, airport transfers, all that. So the tour almost like keeps going. So you're not left on your own. The tour will keep on going. So you'll have an opportunity to do. There's a minimum of 20 passengers to do it, but there will be more than 20 that do it. So how it works is this. You'll, um, on day eight, everybody else flies home. You will then start your tour of Rome. And you are obviously going to see all the amazing sights and sounds, the Colosseum, the Arch of Constantine. I mean, this is, this is, this is history, right? And so preserved. It's unbelievable what you see. It's Circus Maximus. Um, and know that even though things start to fall apart because they get old, they rebuild and they keep things alive and they want to keep that history alive, right? The Piazza Vesuvius, this is Ven Venesuius. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt that. Venesuius. But anyway, this is like um, an area where all the kind of the highways come together and a big gathering place for people, cars and buses and things will park here. And this is a big gathering area. And of course, we also tour the Vatican City. So you're going to take that in as well. And the nice thing about our company is because we do so many groups in Italy, the Vatican City, we actually park underground. So you don't have to walk a mile to get to the Vatican City. We'll park underground and we'll be able to take you in. So all the Vatican museums will be included in the tour. I mean, I really don't even, I, this is just, um, there really are no words to describe what you see when you're there. It is room upon room upon room of just tapestries and statues and, um, you know, 
sacred, sacred things that you find in the Vatican museums here as well. Um, the Sistine Chapel, the work of Michelangelo, and this is all, again, things that you just, pictures cannot even capture what you're seeing, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. And then St. Peter's Basilica, of course, part of it, and Michelangelo's Pietra um, inside as well, Peter's Basilica, magnificent sculptures. Everything you see there is just grand and amazing and life-changing. So um, the bronze canopy, Bodini's bronze canopy, as you can see. Um, we'll do the Spanish steps. We'll have a day at leisure on day nine, because of course we want you to explore, because everybody wants to go in a million directions. So we'll take you in, you'll have free time to do the Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps and visit the Piazza and uh, you know see all the sculptures, the Pantheon, it's all there. It's all within walking distance, the Forum. And mind you, these structures of history sit right in the middle of a modern city. So it's like old and new, all blended together in Rome. Um, and again, just you know, all part of the history there. And then we also will, you know, direct you, your tour director will be there on your free day to help guide you where you want to go. You need to get gelato when you're in Italy, of course. And of course, enjoy the cafes, even throughout, anytime you go to Italy. This is their lifestyle. Like every Sunday at my grandma and grandpa's house, this is what we did. We ate, drank, and then they drank coffee and all the relatives were drinking coffee and talking. That's what they do, that's what we do. So this is all part of that culture and it's, it's magnificent. So on day 10, you will fly back home and the Round trip airport transportation, how it works is the majority of the return, if the majority of the group comes back after the uh, extension, then the, the buses and things of transportation will take you back. So it really will depend on the majority of the people. The ride back from Detroit Metro will be for the group that does the majority. So if you're on the, if there's you know less people that take the option, then the buses will just come back after the, after the, um, the first part of the tour. Trip October 22nd through the 29th. Regular rate, $37.75. I mean, what is, uh, how much was Italy? Uh, Hawaii is $5,700. Rose Parade is probably not much more, $36.25. Rose Parade is $100 less than this. So this is a great value. Booking discount, single supplement, only $550. Again, you can't beat that. It's really an amazing uh, experience. Again, if you add the optional tour, it's an additional $625. And passports are required to travel to Italy. Make sure that your uh, expiration date is valid for up to six months beyond the trip. So check that, yeah. Well, if, if my passport expires before that, do I have to have the new passport before I can make the reservation? No. Matter of fact, we have a lot of people that don't even have a passport at all. And they make the reservation and then we just say, give us your passport number once you get it. And then they just contact us and send over the information. And then is so. there a deadline date to sign up for any of these things? There's not a deadline date. It really is really first come first serve with us. So we recommend that if you know you want to go somewhere 100%, get your deposit in. Because things are already selling out for next year. It is insane. You know, travel's really been quite busy. So if you know you want to go, get signed up. If you buy the insurance, you can cancel um, up to six months prior for any trip, if you have the insurance, you get 100% of your money back, deposit and insurance. So, yeah. That's a good question. So we haven't gotten an update on this visa situation yet to go to the, each country. Um, so until it's officially announced, it's been talked about, but it's not officially announced yet. We will then be uh, helping, guiding, letting you know how that how that's going to work. Yeah, we would give you information on how to how to do that. Yeah, it's we have it as a company. We have it hasn't been officially announced yet to our industry to actually put it out there. But once it is, then we'll have a major announcement and we'll be updating. So. And it would be enough time for the Italy. Oh yeah, that's next year. That's a year from now. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we're no soon. Like we're even like with Hawaii, we're still in the. Even um, with like the Hawaii situation, like it's it's we have to deal with our vendors and figure out what's happening. Kind of the same with this um, with the new visa. We have to kind of talk to our partners all in the industry and then make a, a statement and announcement, and we have to figure out how we're going to go ahead and help our people get those. Because like even if you're going to Cuba or uh, Africa or anything, you do need those extra documents. So we help kind of explain how to do that. Even the Montreal thing, you said visa, even though you have a passport. 
Quite possibly, yeah. So again, we haven't gotten that um, official information for our company yet. And it hasn't actually been announced yet that it's everybody's participating. So we're kind of waiting to, to figure out how that's going to happen. So we'll help you with that. That'll all be part of the final documentation. And if we know ahead of time, we'll get that to you in, in advance. So um, yeah, so passports, the money there is the euro, which is nice and easy. And then temperatures, I circled here in the 70s in uh, Sorrento, Pompeii, in the Rome area, lovely temperatures. And remember, um, one thing about our company, especially in Europe, we do not travel in peak seasons. So you're never going to travel with us when there's students and kids and mobs of people and it's hot. We do not do that. We travel during the shoulder season. And look at the weather. I mean, it's discounted, it's quiet, and it's got perfect weather. So it is, that's what we like to do for, for our groups. We make sure that you're not in there when there's a million people all doing the same thing. Uh, let's see here. So deposit for this is $600. Final payment August 8th of next year, so lots of time. Insurance is $399, and that's all on the flyer. And let's talk about the travel protection a little bit. So. Our travel protection is affordable and it's really great, but again, you may have a company that you're comfortable with and you use and that's fine. Ours works like this. Once you buy the insurance, the trip is fully refundable six months prior. So from now, like Italy is so far in advance, people are like, gosh, that's so far from now, I don't know what's going to happen. If you buy the insurance, everything's fully refundable six months in advance, so deposit and insurance fully refundable. Um, once you get past 180 days, if you buy the insurance, you have up until the final payment, you can still cancel and you get your deposit back fully, like your deposit comes back to you fully, and your insurance then becomes a future travel credit. Because we've already paid the insurance company, which we can't get that back, so we will give you that back in a future travel credit. After the final payment date, which is 75 days prior, you that's when the insurance company takes over, right? So if you bought the insurance, you have uh, up until uh, the day of departure, if you have a medical emergency with a documentation from a doctor, all you need to do is get that to us, the documentation, it's all we need. My, you know, I'm so-and-so doctor, this person can't travel, don't need too much information, just enough. You will get 100% of your money back except the cost of the insurance, obviously $399, but up until even the day of departure, 100%. If you cancel for any other reason that is not a medical reason, you can cancel up to 48 hours prior. 48 hours, so like up to two days prior, you can cancel still, and we'll give you 75% back in a future travel credit. Okay. Again, at that point, everything's paid in full. The insurance company is not helping you because it's a, it's a non-covered reason, but we're going to give you 75% back in a future travel credit. And then, of course, the insurance is non-refundable at that point either. Once you depart on any of our tours, because insurance is included or uh, available for any of these, you have post insurance. What that means is trip interruption, baggage delay, travel delay, medical coverage, medical emergency, all that, and the amounts of the coverage are on the back of the flyer. It explains exactly what the percentages are and how much coverage is, but the insurance company takes over that as well. That's all done through them, and it's awesome. In your final documentation, you would have um, your insurance information, your claim, you know, or policy number, and all that would be in your documentation. Again, for peace of mind, it's you know when you're spending this kind of money, it's just something we recommend. And, and um, if you have any specific questions about insurance, there's a toll-free number as well. So our no-risk deposit. So I mentioned this already. Um, up till six months prior. Uh, full refund, insurance, deposit, everything. And then, of course, inside 180 days, we do the future travel credit for the insurance or the deposit. And then um, if you get a future travel credit, they're valid for 12 months from the departure date of your trip. So keep that in mind. We, um, if we give you a tr travel credit, you want to use it up. Um, how do I sign up? Form is on the back. And I know that um, everything goes directly to us. As much as Shelby Township would love to do collect thousands and thousands of dollars, right? They don't want to, and we definitely don't want them to have to get in the middle of that. So it, everything comes to Premier World Discovery, and everything that you need to know is in the top of the flyers in the back. It might be on the inside of a couple of the other ones, but um, there is our address, our you know our phone number, toll free number, our website. You can mail in a payment. You can scan it, email it over. 
scan a copy. You can, if you have a credit card number on there, you can scan it over to us. You could even call the toll-free number and just do it over the phone if that's if you like to talk to someone instead at reservations. You could also go on our website and use your web code and book it online. The web code is always going to be in that same box it says booking number, web code, and every trip is a different web code. So there's lots of ways that you can pay. Um, again, not through Shelby Township, but you know you can do it direct. The only recommendation I'm going to make to you is if you mail anything to California, go to the post office and get it tracked. Because there's all kinds of things talking now. Like, and I always do priority mail. It's $9, but I pay it. You know, I do. I just, I'm like, it's worth it. Yes? So you're, you can do your reservation with your card now. Yeah. And then that doesn't, and then the final payment would be by check. By check. Or you can use your credit card. If you, let's say that you're like, you know what, I, I don't need the $100 booking discount. I'd rather get some points on my credit card. Or I'd rather use my, you know, or I want to get insurance through my credit card for the trip or something like that. You don't have to pay by check. But if you want the $100 booking discount, I mean, it's certainly nice little savings, especially if you're traveling with, with a, a spouse or a friend and you each save $100. Um, okay, did I reach you? That's my ending of that trip. So, um, yeah, any other questions about any of the trips? Yes. Yeah, I do about the insurance thing. Yes. So, let's say you don't get the insurance, mm -hmm. but three days before the trip, do we cancel? Your company then would give us 75%? Off? No, that's only if you have the insurance. Only if you have the insurance. Yes. So, actually, though, on the back here, it says cancellation fees. I think it's on the back of most of the flyers, except for. for uh, the California, it's on the inside. I think the rest are, yep, they're all in the back. Um, cancellation fees are what the fees are if you don't purchase the insurance. So if you read back here, the six months out, the 180 day prior, that's regardless if you have insurance or not, we're still going to refund you 100% prior to six months. And then you just follow the, 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 you know, the days and the percentages of what the refunds. But cancel 14 days less or prior or no show, there's no refunds at all if you don't have the insurance. So, How much is the insurance? Uh, each trip is different. Um, it says it right here. Like this one, Italy is three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. I think the domestic ones are like three twenty five <clears throat> for this year. If it's two thousand twenty three, those are two ninety nine. Make sure it's three twenty five for domestic. So it's all. Every flyer will say here. All the things like I mentioned are all listed in order here. So, yeah. Any other questions at all? Yes. Oh, fees. no credit card um, fees. Um, okay. No, no credit card fees at all if you want to use your credit card. That's why we offer that discount if you pay by check because we, you know, we eat those fees. It's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we just kind of give a little thank you to those that if you use a check for a final payment. But again, it's, you don't have to do the check if you don't want to. Yeah. So now, if you sign up for this and you don't know for sure if you're going to have a roommate or you're going mm -hmm. to have to get the single, how, how do you, can you just sign up and then change it to see yeah. if you have? Absolutely. Um, when you when you register, it's just a flat amount for the deposit. So you just put the deposit down. And if you're going to do the extension, you want to make note of that as well. I think there's a thing that'll ask if you want to do the Rome extension. Um, but um, you can sign up as a single if you don't have a roommate yet. And then eventually, if you get a, a, a roommate, you just let us know, hey, I found a roommate. And then your final balance will reflect the proper amount, whether or not you're a single or a double. Okay. okay so you wouldn't have your roommate's name or anything like that? You no, you would just send it in as a, like as a single. But you don't add that extra single supplement? No, no. not because it deposits a flat amount, okay. and it's not until that final payment, 75 days prior, that we would then adjust the final balance right. accordingly. Yeah. Um, any other? Yes? What time of day does the flight take off to Italy, and approximately what time of day are you going to uh, arrive in Italy? There's that jet lag going on. Right, right. Yep. That's why that first day we don't have really anything planned. And that's why we do, like I said, we want to give you those day in the middle. Um, flights to Europe usually are going to be early afternoon, um, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, that time of day. And then when you get there, it's morning. Usually it's their morning. We, we try to get you there by late morning. Um, that way you have that first day to kind of acclimate yourself. And then we really just drive you to Sorrento that first day. So it's really just kind of getting your bearings, getting comfortable, you know, get, trying to get yourself adjusted. And, um, and I will always encourage people to get on that plane and sleep. It's hard. I mean, I say that. I just went to Europe last, last winter, and 
I didn't sleep at all. And I thought, oh, and it hit me. It did. It hit me. It was not good. So I was napping a lot. But um, we certainly, at the departure meeting, when I come out and talk to people about the trip, I will talk about all those things, even tipping for driver and guide that. That'll all be part of that final meeting and help for jet lag, things like that. Like I'll talk about that. And, uh, that. Uh, well, it depends. If there's a layover, then you're probably, you know, two, three hours to, say we go through Boston. Like I think one of my groups last year went through Boston. So, you know, three hours to Boston. And then from there, it might be six, five or six to go over. Um, if it's nonstop, it would be, which it probably would, it could be possibly, to Rome, yeah, it might be if it's Delta. If it's a nonstop, it's about eight, eight and a half hours. Um, and again, they do, the airlines are good because what'll happen is you'll get on the plane and it's afternoon, but they'll think, and they want you to think it's nighttime. So they get you in there, they feed you really quick, and they turn the lights out and everyone goes to sleep, right? And it could be like five, six o'clock at night, but they want you to sleep because they want you to try to acclimate, right? Unless you're me and you sit up and watch movies all night on the, <laughs> my, little kid, my little TV, but... Um, so yeah, it's it's a nice way to go. Yes. Uh, the flights to Hawaii 